I'm on my way to see a home that dates from about the time of Jesus. Look at that, that's incredible. It doesn't look like a home though. It looks like ruins of a nuclear power station cooling tower. Musa is a small, uninhabited island just off the coast of Shetland. Closer to the Arctic Circle than Edinburgh, it's bitterly cold. It's taken me over a day and a half to get here by train, plane, boat, and now on foot. There's not a single tree here. It's wild, it's windswept. Calling it remote doesn't do it justice. So who lived on this wind-battered, tiny island 2,000 years ago? Peter, hi. Hi, Miriam. And how on earth did they make it their home? Wow. That is something else. Welcome to the best preserved prehistoric home in Europe. I struggle to understand that this is 2,000 years old. It's called a brock and it was built a 1,000 years before the first English castle. It's unusual because in those days, most people were living in roundhouses made of wattle and daub. It feels like, um, like a cathedral. It's got a real grand scale to it. Well, it's almost 14 metres high, five metre wide walls. You can hardly get a knife blade between some of the joints. There's no mortar whatsoever. So it's just layer upon layer of stone with nothing holding it together. I can't believe it survived for so long. It feels safe, yes. doesn't it? Yeah. This was high-rise living designed for the comfort of a clan chief. They kept animals on the ground floor because their heat rose to the floors above, where people lived and slept. The roof was probably made of timber and thatch. Where would they have got timber from? I think it's trade, being such a key strategic location on the great seaways of northern Europe and Scandinavia. So what were they trading? Uh, food surpluses from, from here, iron ore, copper ore, furs, sheep's wool. But slaving was a huge part of the economy of that time across Europe. So people trafficking would have been a uh, part of it as well. That is incredible. Trade brought wealth, but it also brought conflict. The island frequently found itself under attack. They could have got maybe the women and children in here, got the most precious animals in here. Meanwhile, the, the men, it's always the poor men, you know, they'd have to go <laughs> out there with their spears and... See them off. Yeah. Wow. Look at that view! Instead of seeing Musa as it is today, a remote outpost of the British Isles, I need to shift my thinking. Whilst most people were living in simple abodes, the Shetlanders built these massive homes, ingenious living spaces useful in times of peace and war. They were at the heart of a highly successful, wealthy society. The sea wasn't a barrier. It was a highway for bringing trade, people and ideas. This was where it was at. 